Hello, good morning to you, Christina. Beautiful lady, and it's a beautiful morning. Thank you ever so much, Christina, for, for all your compliments. Thank you ever so much. Yeah, Christina, the reason that I do all those weird videos, eccentric videos, because I've got some friends on my Facebook account um, they don't read and write they are very illiterate people and on the other hand I've got some friends who can read and write and in a few languages but they never try to read something new all they read about their own religion, about their own nation, about their own history, and they glorify the history and the nation, and they glorify the, the mistakes by their leaders and nation and everything. They never try to find something else from another country, another tradition, another political view. So what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to open their minds. I'm trying to bring mainly the Western values to them through those weird videos. So I sing for them. Other times I act, I become a serious person and then I become a silly person. And I try to ask many questions, very embarrassing questions. Uh, so I'm trying to use uh, Socratic methods and I talk about philosophy a lot about different philosophers for example I talk about Epicurus, Aristotle and Buddha uh, Confucius some Arab philosophers Kurdish philosophers Turkish philosophers <coughs> sorry excuse me <coughs> uh, I talk about all those philosophers so when I use Socratic methods of course when you use Socratic methods it's impossible not to talk about Plato despite that Plato was Socrates student one of his students but without Plato we wouldn't know anything about Socrates so, for example, I, I would talk about Socrates. I would say uh, he was born in 1347 BC and died in 14th, on 14th, 20, yeah, 14th, 27th BC. I talk about Plato and I would say he stands with Socrates and Aristotle as one of the shapers of the whole intellectual tradition in the West. Yeah. And as we know, he came from a family that had a long played a prominent part in Athenian politics it would have been natural for him to follow the course, but he declined to do so. Yeah. Well, I mean, however, disgusted by the violence and corruption in Athenian politics, uh, and on the other hand, which affected him a lot. He was sickened by the execution in 399 BC. Yeah. Execution of his friend and teacher in 399 BC, Socrates. When they executed Socrates. He was absolutely sickened of the society and the politicians there. 
And um, of course, we know he was inspired by Socrates' inquiries into the nature of the ethical standards. So Plato sought a cure for the ills of the society. And arriving at his own fundamental and lasting conviction said that those ills will never cease until the philosophers become the rulers or the rulers philosophers so he believed that the only way for the society to become a perfect society an ideal society is for the philosophers to rule the society that was his own belief is uh, utopia uh, utopic utopia beliefs belief well as we know at uncertain dates in the 14th century in Athens he found the Academy and we know where the word Academy came from from Academius the man who gave the land to Plato to build his own Academy on his uh, farm he was called uh, uh, Academus so this is where we got the word Academy from uh, so he founded the uh, Academy there well, as we know, it was the first permanent institution devoted to philosophical research and teaching. The academy. Uh, and it was the a prototype, well, it is still a, a prototype of all the Western University. So I'll talk about those things and then, for example, Plato traveled extensively and notably to Sicily as a political advisor uh, for Sinosis the second, the, rul the ruler of uh, Sicoros or, or, or Syracuse I, I think it was in Syria because the word Syria came from Greek as well anyway so I talk about those values I talk about I introduce um, you know the Western values to my friends and uh, they a lot of them get affected and they change their own minds I mean I'm talking about in thousands uh, despite that I'm not uh, supported by any political parties and uh, almost all of them are against me including the religious people so that in a way it's good for me because I, I get more popular because uh, this is a taboo talking about Nowruz but then it's very exciting let's talk about him um, because uh, all those political parties are against him let's talk about him and on the other hand um, it's not good because you get you know host you get some people who are who get hostile to you without knowing them and without without them trying to understand your own views you know they take it personally a lot of times so uh, that's uh, uh, that's one of the reasons that I make those weird videos. Thank you so much. Have a lovely time. And I'll see you next week. Anyway, by the way, it's uh, 9th of May 2016, Nowruz, London. Bye.